What's up guys, Dopes 930 here, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to be upgrading my Acer C7 Chromebook with some much better hardware from Kingston. I'll be installing a 220 gig HyperX solid state drive from Kingston, along with two 4 gig sticks of HyperX plug and play DDR3 RAM. And I'm doing this because I want to install Ubuntu on my Chromebook, and with the current uh, hard drive and RAM, it's not really, not really a legit setup. So. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. First thing we're going to go ahead and do is remove the battery. You'll need some kind of uh, tool, you can probably use a pen or something like that to just slide the lock to unlock position and pop the battery out as you see I'm doing in the video. Next we're going to go ahead and remove the one screw that holds the back plastic piece in place. It's under the Acer logo. Um, just note by doing this you will be voiding your warranty. Um, typically any form of hardware customization on a OEM laptop or desktop will void your warranty so just note that ahead of time. You will want to take the screw the whole way out if you just do unscrew it and don't take it out you won't be able to get the back latch off so make sure you take that screw all the way out and the back latch will simply slide off and reveal the internals of the Chromebook. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to take care of the RAM. The RAM is very easy to do. Um, you simply get your thumbs and pull the little latches on both sides outwards and the RAM will pop up and slide right out. To replace, you simply push back in the same kind of 90 degree angle I guess and uh, just push down and it'll snap into place and the latches will grab onto the RAM. And then if you're doing the other side, there's also a second uh, RAM slot so you do the same exact thing to the other side. Now the hard drive is a little more work, um, there's two versions of the Acer C7, I have the version with a solid state drive, so you may have a solid state drive like this one, or you may have a standard 2.5 bay hard drive, this one's for the solid state. Um, for starters you gotta remove the four black screws as I'm doing in the video along the four corners of the solid state drive. Once you've done that, the, um, the solid state drive will kind of just wiggle, wiggle out of place if you Pull, pull back and forth. Alright, once we've done that, you need to also remove the two silver screws holding the sort of metal plate to the uh, SATA connector. So just go ahead and unscrew those, and if you kind of uh, pull it up and out, it'll go right over the connector without any problems. Alright, then you are going to have to remove the four sticky, uh, I guess sticky adhesives that it kind of, uh, I don't know what they do, the cushion, the hard drive I guess, um, because you need all the room you can get to install this solid state drive. Once you remove the stickies, simply slide the Kingston HyperX solid state drive or any solid state drive into place and it shall fit really snug and we are ready to reassemble by sliding the back piece back on um, there is one thing I will say though is that the back piece will not fit on exactly you'll have to kind of finagle with it and apply some pressure to get it into place um, and then you know secure it with the screw so it doesn't pop off I'll go ahead and actually show you in the video the um, the, the lip it kind of has a, a, a lip that sticks up on one of the sides because the hard drive does stick out a little too far you can open the solid state drive and kind of take out the internals but I just didn't want to do that for this video also I don't really mind having it again like if you see it's just it's a little lip you don't notice it at all when you're using the laptop but again if you guys do want to see how to rig the the solid state drive maybe I'd be willing to do that for you Last thing to do, now that everything else is back together, of course, is just pop in the battery. And we're going to continue from the computer itself when we power it on. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, reinstall the uh, recovery image. If you don't have a recovery image, I show you how to make one in a different video. I'll go ahead and place a link in the description to that. You'll want to create a recovery image actually before you uh, upgrade all the hardware. So this is what you'll see right here until you've installed your recovery USB flash drive. So all you want to do now is go ahead and plug in your flash drive or, or SD card or whatever memory card you've installed the recovery Google 
image onto and pop it into place. Once you've done that, the screen will actually go black and restart the computer. And in just a second, you will be greeted with the recovery process. Again, it just like everything else, it will take a few minutes to uh, go ahead and run through its thing here. I just let it let it sit. And once completed, that's actually it. You um, have just successfully upgraded your hardware in your Acer C7 Chromebook um, to a much larger hard drive and a much um, you know, higher and better quality RAM um, and it'll just ask you to pretty much set up the Chromebook as if it were a new Chromebook. Again, the reason why I am doing this is because I want to install Linux, the Ubuntu operating system on here and I will need a much larger hard drive than 16 gigs and I will need more RAM to be able to do the multitasking that I want to do. If you're just using this as a Chromebook, I don't think you'll need a bigger hard drive because um, pretty much everything's stored in the cloud and also the RAM, you could upgrade the RAM if you wanted to, but again, I don't really think that's necessary. So, as you can see here, it's done now, and it's just going to ask you, it'll say when to unplug the uh, flash drive or whatever memory unit, it'll restart again. And you'll be greeted with the original Chrome logo, and it'll ask you to set up your username and all that good stuff again. So hopefully this will help some of you guys out if you do want to get the Chrome, uh, Chrome, the Acer C7 and want to upgrade the specs on it. If this did help you out at all, guys, or you found it interesting, please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, guys.